and welcome to uh, Civ, Civ 5, Brave New World. I'm going to play a game, uh, I'm going to play a game with one other player at a reasonable setting. Just felt like having a go, put it on YouTube, see so how it goes. So let's begin. I'm playing as England, obviously, and I'm playing against France. Uh, started in the... when did I start? What did I say? Yes. I made myself start in the... Ah, so I finished the classic era and I'm moving on to the medieval era because it mixes things up and it's a bit more interesting. So, this looks like a good place to settle really, so bam, London, it's down. We're in a pretty decent area. Got some wheat, marble. Li we're drowning in, literally drowning in pearls. So many pearls. Uh, so I'm gonna start with a temple. Cause I think I'm gonna try and aim for uh, the grand temple, and then I can get uh, this special. Uh, if I get a religion, I can get this special ability, which means that essentially uh, I have like a 50% extra bonus attack against France. It's classic London versus France. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go for Liberty, and I'm going to get uh, another civilian, another worker. I'm going to go for another settler as well. I'm going to try and settle relatively fast this game. Don't normally do that, but since we're in the medieval era, I might as well. So I put it on large islands. So I, um, I, th I think that I that there should be like at least one island for me, and then one island for. France, and then there's pro there'll probably be another island somewhere, or something. And then there's four city states on this map. Uh, I'm not going to really bother. Normally, I would bother with city states, but I'm not going to this game because well, I'm going to try and just wipe them out as fast as possible. Because I don't want really to be spending too long on this playthrough. I just want to have have a bit of a game, see how it goes. So. Spearmen. I can't yet send these spearmen into ocean, which is a little bit irritating because this map could be really patronising and have France on the other side of an enormous ocean. But I doubt it because I, I, I put it on a small map setting, so it should be fine. Next turn. Just watching the next turn button flash. You need to see all those spearmen. I could put them on auto auto explore, but I've done. Oh, there we go, Vatican City. Can't visit the Pope. The Pope is not present. Uh, he's out telling off nuns. Um, let's see. There's some. I might settle on this iron because there's some incense. Should be good for my happiness. Uh, but probably not yet because I want to kind of keep on the same island. Ah, okay. Well, this this could be uh, the way to get to France. Looking at it now, I'm gonna see if I can find something that gives me. Normally, I go for either fertility rights because it means that your cities grow much faster, or um, where is it? religious settlements because it means that your borders grow much faster which is very handy if you want to do a bit of land nabbing uh, especially on uh, islands because it means you could settle, uh, settle a, uh, a city on someone else's island and just slowly take it over uh, but no I'm, I'm not going to go for that I think I will I'll either go for one of these because that's quite handy as well for two rights for two, two rights. Go for that. dot policy do you want to go? F do you want to get another? Maybe not. Because we've already got. Let's 
go for, let's go for this. Get a golden age. I am, I am losing money. That, so that's okay. I'm gonna focus on getting food for now, but I will eventually start trying. To, okay, I'm near the top of the map. Though I suppose because I'm on quite a small map, it doesn't make a difference. So France could be on that island, but I, I don't really think it is. Yeah, there you go. So we're on a small map. This is the full width of the map, pretty much. But that's okay because there's only one one other player, actual real player, and I am thrashing their ass currently. Um, but at the start of the game, I don't really think that this this scoreboard isn't very useful. I don't think because if you do a load of wonder nabbing, which which is quite funny if you're playing with someone else because they get rather angry. Uh, it gets you an awful lot of points, but doesn't really help that much, if I'm honest. Uh, I mean, some things are useful, but things like um, the Taj Mahal, aren't, they don't give you particularly good bonuses, but they do give you a ridiculous amount of points, which makes you look like you're doing really well, but it's just sort of a ruse, it's, it's not really true. But from the looks of things, the Pope is not happy. I can't see him. Anywhere in there, but that's okay. In these orders, Spearman. This island is pretty good. I'm pleased. With, uh, I'm pretty pleased where uh, where I started. It's it's quite nice. It's not too bad. Not too shoddy. Yeah. I'm going to go for the Great Lighthouse because England gets a bonus which means that all units that are embarked in the sea get plus two movement which is very useful on on uh, maps with lots of sea which this is and although it's not particularly useful on this one because I've put it on a small setting it is, oh France has got desert folklore although it's not particularly useful on this map um, it is still quite good because it means I can travel I could pretty much travel halfway across across the map in one turn near the end of the game which is very 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 useful because it, it means that uh, if I were to attack one of their cities but then they've launched like a counter attack against one of my cities I could just send my entire fleet back or half my fleet back in couple of turns which, which is very useful. I've, I've used it before uh, on a large map and it worked around. Oh we found France not too far away which is good. I don't think I will try and nab land on their island though because I did set them on, on a, a, a standard yeah they are beating now as I said it doesn't really mean much this scoreboard. They are on a slightly higher level than normal but I've beaten one higher than this before, just about, so I should be able to beat this. Oh! Greetings, Napoleon. Bonjour. Okay, uh, accept embassy. We'll have an embassy with you, mate. And do you have anything? You're losing money as well, I'm losing even more money. Give me all, 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 all. I think that's how it's pronounced. Oh no! Right. Yeah, the spin isn't much help. It's just sort of dawdling around the Arctic. <sighs> London's not growing. Why isn't it growing? I might have to set this temporarily on food, so because. The problem with setting on production at the start of the game is you. This represents how many um, tiles you can work essentially. So if you don't grow and uh, because you've set it onto production, it'll choose, for example, this which has three production but no food. So you won't get any food, which 
is a problem obviously but as you can see now I've selected the food it's selected this one no it's selected this one oh yeah because that gives, gives me four food so it's growing nicely now um, we'll get this growing by selecting lighthouse why am I getting no signs oh it's because I'm, I've got budget left so yeah oh dear Hmm, this isn't going brilliantly. Um, I may have to kill one of my spearmen. I don't mind doing that anyway, so. Down he goes. <clears throat> not, not brilliant, but what can you do? Where's that other one? Somewhere around here. Where'd, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Forgot about him. Uh, bye. Oh god, why am I losing? I'm losing a ridiculous amount. Why am I losing so much money? I am not sure why I'm losing money, but I, but uh, as I've got marble, if I work, I get plus two gold. Same with pearls. Yeah, my units might have to disband in a minute if I'm not careful. Oh God, this is, this is not going as well. This is not going as smoothly as I had hoped. I, I think I'm going to try and take him out a bit earlier than that. 